Hi there guys, so there was some huge breaking news that Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua had been in negotiations and had agreed financial terms for the undisputed fight. Now it is likely that the fight could not even go ahead due to BT Sports and Sky Sports saying that they are not involved with negotiations with Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua and have not had any broadcasting deals done with both parties. Obviously Anthony Joshua fights on Sky Sports whereas Tyson Fury fights on BT Sports but the proposed deal between Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua was put together with Tyson Fury's team and Eddie Hearn at Matchroom Boxing. Financial terms were agreed for a two fight deal in 2021. Now it has been revealed that someone on Tyson Fury's team, Daniel Kinahan, was actually involved with some kind of organised gang crime and now that means the deal is becoming sour. So at the moment we don't know what is going to happen. We don't know whether BT Sports and Sky Sports are going to not be involved with the fight as long as he is. So it is unclear about this Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua matchup due to this, due to current events and things that are happening behind the scenes with people who were involved in striking that deal. Now we don't know the makeup of the deal. We don't know much more other than that they will get 50-50 each in the first fight, then the winner will get 60-40 in the rematch. That is all we know at this stage and the deal could be worth 40 to 57 million pounds I think to both parties. So we do know it's a huge fight that is obvious for everyone to see. It's going to be the biggest fight in British boxing. It's going to be the biggest fight of the heavyweight era for this era of heavyweight boxing since like Lennox Lewis versus Mike Tyson was probably the last one. So this fight is going to be huge. It's going to be mega. It's going to generate a lot of money and now that someone like this has been involved in striking the deal. Apparently broadcasters are not happy linking themselves to this deal. Now the broadcasters aren't going to have too much to do with it anyway because they're just going to fight it out for the rights to show it. So for the deal to be made it's between Tyson Fury's team and Anthony Joshua's team. The broadcasters will only realistically get involved when the rights come around, when who gets to show the fight comes up and it will be either a BT Sport or Sky Sports or maybe a dual promotion. So at this stage for BT Sports and Sky Sports to say they had no involvement in the deal at all is pretty accurate because they wouldn't anyway. No matter who is involved they still wouldn't have much to do with the deal because they are broadcasters. They are not a management team, they are not a promotional team, they show the fight. So they fight it out for the rights to show the fight, not to make the deal like Eddie Hearn does and like Frank Warren would or 258 management of Anthony Joshua or MTK Global with Tyson Fury. Those are the ones who will be making the deal, not the broadcasters. But you can guarantee the reason why they have come out vocally and said this is because they don't want to be linked to it. There is some controversy in the news about this guy who has struck the deal with Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury and got it over the line. Tyson Fury even thanked him on Instagram in one of his videos for helping to get the deal over the line. So they don't want to link themselves to that. So that is the reason why they have come out and said that they had no involvement in making this deal because they don't want their companies linked to a controversial news story. But having said that, they would have no involvement in making this fight. They would have no involvement in financial terms or anything like that. They show the fights, they don't make them. So anyway, guys, what are your thoughts on this? Make sure you drop your thoughts in the comments below, leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Thanks guys.